Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Jimmy Dore Show. I'm here with the miserable liberal of Ron Placone. I'm miserable. Howdy, howdy. So, you uh, guess what? They did a study, and uh, this was in the Wall Street Journal, about uh, what the media covers and what people really care about. Now, let's remember when I say the media, uh, Bill Clinton, Democrat, in 1996 passed the Telecommunications Act which took us from 50 giant media companies down to six. So every radio show, every TV show, every newspaper owned by six companies in the whole country. Yeah. Yeah. So Comcast, which has always voted one of the worst companies in the world to work for, owns MSNBC. Think about that. So they want whatever they want. Rachel Maddow says, right? Ed Schultz was against the TPP. They fired him because Comcast wanted the TPP. Just so you know. And if any of the people on MSNBC go against war, they will also be fired. So MSNBC, we did a story on it, and Rachel Maddow's losing her mind, and people are starting to notice <laughs> because she spends uh, 150% of her show... <laughs> which isn't impossible, but she does it, <laughs> talking about Russia. Go to her Twitter feed. If you, if you, if you sw swallow poison and you need to throw up, go to Rachel Maddow's, <laughs> go to Rachel Maddow's Twitter feed. Uh, here's the, here it is. So here's what, what American people care about and what the media cares about. The top one is health care. 35% 35 per, 35 of the people... Uh, that's their top issue, health care. You know how much coverage it's gotten? 4% coverage. And 3% of that coverage is the media telling you why you can't have single payer. <laughs> uh, jobs, that's the next, 13%. They cover it 1% of the time. Terrorism. Immigration, climate change. Oh, my God. Turns out only 10% of the people care about climate change, and it's covered 10% of the time. Isn't that amazing? It's almost like there's a correlation to how much they cover it and how much people give a shit. Climate change. Russia. Here we go, Russia. You want to see, see those and see that blue line? <laughs> The top line is how much people care about Russia. 6% of the people say it's their top issue. 6%. 6%. You would never know it. You would never know it watching the TV or reading the newspaper or listening to the radio news. You would never know it. 6% of the people. That's it. That's their 6% of the people. Look how much gets covered. 75% of their time is spent covering Russia. And you tell me I'm I'm the fucking crazy one. I'm the one who doesn't get the Russia issue. But Rachel Maddow does. Really? By the way, the six percent of Americans that care about Russia are the ones that watch the seventy five percent of the coverage. <laughs> I don't know how they do that, but they do it. <laughs> Get this. Six percent of the coverage uh, on terrorism. S the media spends six percent of their coverage on terrorism. Five percent is just Brian Williams pr promoting missile porn. <laughs> 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 mm, look at how sexy that is. They spend. Mm. They, yes. They spend one percent of their time talking about jobs. Isn't that something? Probably because they're only concerned with keeping their own jobs. <laughs> so. What do you have? I would toss it over to my wonderful panel. What do you have to say? What do you any any thoughts on this? This it's unbelievable, right? Well, at least we know the amount of wealthy wealthy people that still pay attention to the news. Six percent. Six percent. Because I mean, I'm sorry if Russia is your number one issue, you come from a lot of privilege. You, you just do. I mean, if that's your number one issue and, and you're not seeing any of the other stuff going on, either yes, you're watching that seventy five percent of the time and it's blowing your mind and you're abandoning rationality or you have such a privileged blinder on that this is the only thing. Well, Trump's a dick, and I want him out, and I don't, I don't see anything else. You know, you would also think that the jobs uh, 
people would want more than 13 percent would be concerned about that. You know, being that uh, President Obama had that jobs bill that he had put forth and that, oh, no, wait a minute. Obama never had a jobs bill or any kind of jobs program that our country needs. Nothing. Nowhere. You Step. don't uh, remember the all of the above approach on energy? <laughs> 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 Steph, you don't remember Barack Obama shaming, publicly shaming from coast to coast for months, the Republican Congress for uh, blocking his jobs bill? You don't remember that? Uh-uh. Neither, neither do I. Neither do I. Do you remember how he shamed everybody for not uh, seating his, his uh, Supreme Court nominee? Me neither. Remember how he made them pay a political price for that? Me neither. You know what else that's missing from this? And I'm kind of surprised that education isn't up here. Am I missing that somewhere? Am I not able to see it because I'm not wearing my glasses? But the bottom line is, uh, I was just reading an article that since 1986, the cost of education, higher education, has increased by 500%. Yeah. No wonder people are panicked about access to education and access to health. They're not worried about Russia because Russia... I, I can't even begin no, to talk I'm, about No, I'm with you, Steph. I think that's a really good observation. I wish that education would be a part of this because, I mean, if they really spent time, because I, I bet the media percentage would be about 1% or 2%, and that's being generous, but if they spent more time, I mean, we are going down a path where education is almost becoming something exclusively for the elite, and uh, a society that has that sure as hell ain't a democracy. And I think, you know, our government actually does uh, reflect that there is a— just a group of people that have access to higher education and they're all in the same club together or fraternity or sorority and we're not in it. You ain't in it, baby. Look at that. (laughs) That is such bullshit. And if you criticize that, people say, why are you defending Trump? (laughs) Aren't you going to be a patriot? Aren't you? We got Jimmy. We got to go after the pussy grabber and chief. Hillary didn't win. Oh, she won. I don't know if you've watched the media coverage. She won, because that should be about how the the Democratic Party screwed over its own base. They literally cheated, lied repeatedly. And rig the system. They're the party that has fucking super delegates for F's sake. And you're worried about Russia screwing over our elections? We give extra votes to elites. No one gives a shit. There it is. Wow. Can I tell you what else is left off of this? I can't believe that people, and you know what? I want to know how the question was framed. Because that really, did they just give them these choices? on what they care about because I can't believe that people aren't screaming at the top of their lungs about how we continue to bail out corporations in America and not people. Um, We did some videos about how Jeff Bezos gets tax breaks to crush local economies. Tax breaks. He has, he pays less taxes than the businesses in there in already there in your state, in your community. And he gets tax breaks to do it. To screw you over and eliminate jobs in your community. We did a couple of videos on that. They're, they're, uh, you'd think they'd have 10 million hits. It has, uh, they have regular, just did regular. And you know what? Let me throw a PSA out there. If Russia is your number one issue, Put some of your money and resources, because you probably have some of it, put some of that to ending the Electoral College. Make oh. that your number one issue instead. Because guess what? Hillary won the popular vote, but she's not president. Why? Because we have this archaic system that can be traced back to slavery that we passively accept for some bullshit reason. So make that your number one issue instead, because I'm in favor of getting rid of the Electoral College. I think it should have begun years ago. Just because 40% of the elections in the 21st century have been thrown by the Electoral College to reverse the will of the people, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> ben Mankiewicz pointed that out. Ah, just since 40% of the elections in the 21st century <laughs> have been overturned the popular will of the people, ah, I think it's a good system. <laughs> Our democracy would almost get a passing grade. 60%, <laughs> that ain't bad. No, 40%. 40%. 40%. 
Oh, Did 40% I say 60? of the time it screwed people? Yeah, 40% of the time. So 60% would be... Yeah, 60% yeah. of the time the, right, right. that we actually care who, who people voted for. Right, right, right. <laughs> so there you go. Way to go, MSNBC, CNN, New York Times, and the Washington Post, who never met a war they didn't like. And you wonder, you wonder why people get their news from YouTube.